buzzing noise. Ah, hey, I wanted to do this point. This is why I was collecting carbon. In the end, people just thought it was a mess. It's actually a organized zoom out mess. <laughs> anyway, it's like section by section here. <laughs> anyway, it's like you can't tell off the bat that this is actually all my science stuff sitting here. Really cool is this half these little jars and all that fit together. Pair of diamagnetics, effectively. And the really cool thing is, as soon as I find where I put it, I have everything balanced here and I can uh, create a static field that holds everything here an entire little antenna array. And I can show you that I can make one good stomp down <coughs> and it won't even budget as soon as I figure out where I put it. <laughs> Should have an extra Pringles can either way over here somewhere. That's yeah, I think looks can be deceiving. Anyway, that's why I'm like, well, dub dub dub. Anyway, need to get another cup of coffee going here in a second, but the hell. For the sake of this experiment, I'm trying to figure out, see, I got like spare little shit jars and stuff for the static conductor and the wiser machine. There's a little one, but I had the big one because there's aluminum on the inside. Let's see. Uh, where the hell did I put it? I know I was doing some karate shit last night, but that's why I went outside in the end. I was like, fuck this light, fuck the seizures, this is where I connect, this is the precision. I did that left handed too. <laughs> like, did I have that, you know, fuck. Should see when I'm actually tooling stuff, actually making something. Well, this is crazy that I lost track of it. There's the can that was there on it, so... Yeah, because I karate kicked it. I actually karate kicked it. Looking at the place that I have here, I fucking did the roundhouse kick and kicked it. So I'm trying to figure out where I put it, <laughs> where it went flying. <laughs> it probably went back in this... The back corner desk that I need to fix over here still. <laughs> oh, Chuck, Chuck. I got the new kitten that he's in the back room still. Oh, there's my glasses, though. I found them. Good, because I couldn't find those before. All right. I don't have to worry about replacing those now. Get day blind. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, see, I do everything like little sections everywhere. A little radiator section where I can use that as uh, the vibrates all the cans at the same time. It creates a little acoustic system too. Also, uh, since there's a gap in this window, it also helps act like a little mini radiator. So, looks can be deceiving, as I try to tell people. It's like the uh, same reason I've been keeping these around because they're perfect uh, little spindles, basically. So. There's GG. Ah, <laughs> crew, crew. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit. I must have kicked, roundhouse kicked that thing far. Oh, well. I'll finish sweeping up here after my next cup of coffee, but yeah, not too shabby. And I got the this part, uh, I just want to get the real. See, here's the thing here's why I haven't done the top part yet. It's literally coming on there, <laughs> then the screws are coming out because it's not treated wood. So, this is the, the only thing that holds these up. 
and as you can see I keep calling them girders but you can see where the old ones are supposed to be the metal ones that used to be here so all of this is set up like this so it's just one section at a time basically so it's not that this this comes down it's a day's work with everything here literally it's a, literally just a day's work and of course you know everything's kind of got a I don't know if you can see it at that angle everything's got a sloop to it as you can see living like in Harry Potter's world or Beetlejuice land this is actually not connected to anything and it's been slowly every so often it's holding the weight but not always it's not always holding the weight but that's okay, I can make it useful. Like I said, there's basically enough wood in this bitch to rebuild the other half of this wall that has to be done. So, like, moving on, I can't show you my science experiment, but at least I can show the little pet projects I'm doing. But, I can't believe I don't have another giant Pringles can. Around. Fuck. Okay, Vulge. Eh. Everything on the micro side here. Oh, yeah. At least I can do this part. Uh, no, that's not it. Here it is. <laughs> if you remember this, and then I've got the handle for it still, I put spring in the bottom. Now it has a bounce to it, shocks. <laughs> but yeah, the other parts here all fit together with it as well. So it's a multi-purpose, as usual. All of my shit transforms, basically. In line, like, kind of micro-organizing as well. My friend thought I had the OCD. I'm like, nah, it's just how I keep track of things because I got the little, I got a little uh, micro space management thing going on. This is also, like I said, these jars are literally perfect fits. And that's that's the aluminum tape there for the Windsor machine as well, the electrical. So if I went paradigmagnetic, paradiamagnetic in combination to cut the field effectively see at that point I have the rotating field of wires just straight wires around this straight copper wires around this part and then then I have to come up with a commutator but since I know how to wirelessly transfer uh, between uh, these mediums already it won't take much to uh, actually charge a small battery cell or something you know I what basically I would do is uh, have a jewel thief set up with the uh, self-impeding field with a zombie battery hence da 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 <laughs> all of the all of it's actually here I just have to get you know the tools to put it together at this point that's And then I've got this thing I'm working on too, which is, I find these parts out there, man. This is why I like dumpster diving too, when I find stuff like this. I mean, <laughs> that's a perfect fit for the square glass piece here. So I can now adapt like an adapter. And that gives me room to run bars for the commentator through it as well, for charged field. And of course, you know, this is at that point, which is why it will balance like that. Of course, you know. I've got some recycled pieces. Anyway, this is how I could go around and around and around on all the little mini projects here, just on this one slab. So, <laughs> not bad, but, you know. That's what this New Year's is about. That's why I decided to make this video. 
And I still don't have full functioning fucking internet yet. I got the free net. I paid the damn bill, motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go round and round. Well, you know how that goes. I'll get that solved next. Well, here's another little mini piece I found. That kind of that stuff. But anyway. Hey, that's a fly through. Yours fucking triple R's. It's not. The, <laughs> he's a uh, re restore, repair, and re gear basically or retool. You know, I can't. I got the parts here. It's down to me getting the soldering iron. If I had online purchasing power, blah blah blah. It's the last 15 minutes skim across the video is the old format. Uh, like I said, this 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 is all just one <laughs> one day's project, literally, with the right stuff here. Which would have already been here, as I said. <laughs> same. Same same delay. And you know, I've managed to at least secure a ride over to uh get some damn this food cart I was already supposed to have that went to an address that I don't even have filed, blah, blah, blah. Identity fraud, it's still reality, but at least uh, I've got, uh, you know, I've got a little space heater and managed to get, seal up the gaps <laughs> here and fuck it. I could be living in a cave, right? Cat's got food, gotta make that run actually. Got one more grocery run to do. Just still have to pay for my own groceries. Fifty dollars a week I'm living on. So, uh, and plus I had New Year's, so you know, New Year's. So. Uh, Christmas I had birthdays, Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> Not just my birthday, but I had like one Two, three, four, five, six birthdays all in a row. And, you know, like, go smoke weed with my buddy, go drink a couple beers, get a pizza, get it. Yeah, I love birthday times. Anyway, so I'm not worried about anything, like, literally. Uh, so, in fact, that's basically what I've been reviewing today is the legalities of shit. My little brief summary when it comes down to the business side of shit. Uh, basically, I would have it done in a day if I had my own vehicle. It would literally take all day, though. It would literally be a day trip. I'm gonna stop at every little place I need to go. <laughs> and for the wait time, travel time, get something to eat, or, you know. That's, yeah, so there's one last order of business with the stupid paperwork. That's That's about it. Business tomorrow, it's Monday tomorrow, you know how that goes. Sunday's my first working day, so. I've had a late New Year's with everyone. All my people that have been out here the last five years, six years now, since it's been a year here. Speaking of which. And that's why no one's seen many videos being popped up, because my damn internet is slow. In fact, I probably will have to, that's why this one's going to be short and sweet. So... That's about it. I think I've touched base on everything. I think that's about it. Like, I'm still doing my cool stuff. I'll introduce up Chuck later. And we're calling him Kid for now. He's, he's half the size she was, I swear. <laughs> anyway. Hey, sentimental shit aside. Help y'all have a good New Year's as well. Ciao.